I just was in class with Professor Karen, and we did a women's course for an hour, and then just an all levels course. And I was feeling very hesitant because I'm coming out of an ACL um, tear and six months out of surgery. And I was just introduced to jujitsu three weeks ago. Not knowing what to expect, but excited to learn from a female black belt. Um, she definitely went into a bit of philosophy behind jujitsu and told us her story of why she started jujitsu. And it was very inspirational to me um, as a woman who sometimes can be intimidated at night walking in a parking lot or um, home alone at night because I live alone. And just feeling the power in my body come alive. Um, I was had a long day at work and wasn't sure what my energy would be like, but once we started learning different moves and I, my whole body tensed up, I started feeling actually more alive during the class than I did, I think, the entire day at work, which was very cool. Um, and I'm always trying like new things, like grew up playing volleyball and basketball and a little bit of Taekwondo, and a few years ago was certified in yoga, and she touched a little bit about like philosophy that was similar to yoga, and the coolest thing I took away from the, the night was that the mat is your mirror. So whether you're feeling good or bad, happy, sad, frustrated, impatient, that's kind of similar to what's going on in your everyday life. And that's definitely what I was taught during yoga teacher training. And so that kind of came full circle for me. And I'm interested in continuing, seeing where this goes. Definitely scared um, with the ACL injury, but she, I asked her questions on that too, and she spoke directly to me. And she said she understands it's hard to feel vulnerable when you have an injury, but that it's okay to... Um, tell people what's going on before you roll with them.